You've probably seen those viral videos online, cartoon characters brought to life in 3D. And maybe you've wondered, how are these made? Well, here's the deal. You can't make those videos with Sora anymore. But in this video, I'll show you a new way to do it, a method that's never been explained on YouTube before. Just to be clear, this is for educational purposes only. I'm simply showing how others are doing it right now. Sora is limited, but here's a trick. As you can see, Sora is only available in the US and Canada. But don't worry, I found a workaround. And yes, I'll show you how to use Sora from anywhere. I'll also show you how to recreate those viral cartoon animations using other AI tools. Let's start with how to access Sora, no matter where you are. Go to OpenArt. The link's in the description. Once you're on OpenArt, head to the Video tab. That's where you'll find Sora 2. I tried using it to make the same kind of cartoon content, but just like I mentioned earlier, cartoon characters don't work anymore. When you try it now, you'll get an error message. That feature is gone. But here's the good news. I found a workaround, and no one's shared this method before. Let me show you exactly how it works. First, we're starting with the video concept. I wanted to recreate a viral style animation, SpongeBob and Patrick in a Breaking Bad theme. So here's what you'll do. Find a clip you like, then take screenshots from it. In Premiere Pro, you can do this by clicking the screenshot button. Take one screenshot per scene. Once you've got your screenshots, go to the GPT store and search for Image Recreation Pro. Start a chat and upload all your screenshots. You'll get a JSON output for each image. Copy the JSON for each one, don't skip any. Next, head to OpenArt and go to the Image tab. I use the Imagine 3 model by Google. Set your output settings to 16 by 9, then paste the JSON prompt from one of your images. Choose how many images you want to generate. Repeat this for each image. As you'll see, OpenArt can generate both 2D and 3D styles. It just depends on what you want. To make this even easier, I built a GPT model for you. If you want extra B-roll shots, go back to the GPT store and search for Nano Banana B-roll Prompt Engineer. Upload one of the OpenArt images into the GPT. It'll generate new B-roll prompts based on your scene. Copy a section of the JSON output, then head back to OpenArt. Now, select Nano Banana as your model. Upload the image reference, paste in the JSON, and set the image ratio to 16 to 9. This way, you can create B-roll shots from any scene you've made in open art. Do this for every shot, and you'll have everything you need for a full animation. For voiceovers, go to Fish Audio. Once you're there, click on the Discovery tab. In the search bar, type SpongeBob or Patrick. SpongeBob usually shows up right at the top, and if you want Patrick, just type in his name. Select the voice model you want to use, then type in what you want them to say. Finally, click on Generate, and you're done with this step. Next, we're going to HeyGen. On HeyGen, use the Photo to Video feature. Upload one of your images and the voiceover from Eleven Labs. Click Generate Video, and you'll get lip-synced video clips based on your images. To animate the images, go to Kling AI. Upload one of the images you made in Open Art. If you're not great with prompts, click the Deep Seek button. It'll automatically generate three prompts for you. Click Generate and you'll get animation clips like this. Once you've got all your videos, bring them into Premiere Pro or any editing software. Cut and arrange everything to match your story, and you'll end up with something like this. Yo, SpongeBob! This stuff looks extra crystalline, like restaurant quality. We don't call it stuff, Patrick. It's Blue Barnacle, the purest you'll find under the sea. Yeah, but who's gonna buy it? Mr. Krabs. He'd sell his shell for half a jar, but we're going big, Patrick. Mermaid Man's cave, jellyfish fields, even the chum bucket. Plankton's gonna lose his tiny mind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You'll find all the links and tools I used in this video in the description. This was for educational purposes only.